problem with it because Well guys, we're here at the Niagara Festival of Beer in St. Catharines at the McCausland booth. First off, have you tried any of the beers here? I have, actually. And what's your favorite so far? Um, I've been parceled my own, but I, I would have to say uh, the guys at uh, Ouse House. Really nice. Alrighty. I really like theirs. And your favorite here at your, uh, at your booth? What's your uh, favorite? Mine would be the Cream Ale, because it's only available on draft. Nitrogen induced, so it's got the smaller bubbles, cascades quite nicely. Um, it's great with poutine, but it's very versatile, so uh, it, it softens the hoppiness, so it's it's very smooth beer to take down. Now I know the brewery is from Quebec, but yes. what are your I, what are your thoughts of the Ontario beer scene and uh, the Niagara beer scene in general? Oh, it's fantastic. This is great. It's a great celebration where we're uh, we're seeing some adventurous uh, brewers. Uh, we're seeing some great great. Uh, brewers taking uh, taking shape, uh, growing some roots, and getting some fans. It's 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 fantastic for the whole craft beer industry. So we get look at this. Look how many people we have here for craft beer. It's fantastic. It's a great thing to be a part of. And your thought of a normal festival versus a craft beer only festival? I find with a craft beer festival. You're getting true fans who are either one curious about it. Uh, Two, they know of a couple of beers, uh, craft brews, whether it's their own backyard or stuff that they've tried at the LCBO, the beer store, or at their local pub. So here they get to be fans of other breweries who, um, in fact, in this industry, we're it's great because we're just fans of each other as well. So it's, it's quite nice. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Alberto. Bye, Bye, guys. Appreciate and yeah, come check out McCausland. Bye. Cheers. Thank you very much. Well guys, we're here still at the Toronto Festival, well, Toronto, fuck. <laughs> hey guys, and we're here at the Niagara Craft Beer Festival. We are with the owner of Shiny Cider and the, I don't even know what you call the cider makers, cider... Cider makers, good. Ci ci cider house owner, <laughs> uh, uh, whatever. Uh, she makes, she makes the Shiny Cider. So first off, where are you guys located? Niagara on the Lake. Oh, you're, you're this close and I haven't even heard of you yet? <laughs> I'm from Niagara Falls, you know, and... Well, we're uh, brand new, we're brand new. We're uh, fairly new, we've only been, um, we've only been on the market for about two, three months now. Yeah. Alrighty, and where can you get your products? At our winery. Okay. So, it, it's made by a small talk winery, and so we're, we're selling both the wine and the cider at the, at the winery for now, but it's on, in process of being sold in the LCBO as well. Alrighty, um, have you guys tried anything at the festival so far? Yep, uh, bounced through and tried the other ciders of course, um, some really great ones out there. Um, obviously tried some of the beers, um, some different flavored beers which were fun. Yeah. Now the beer market is starting to boom. What do you think of the beer market in Ontario and what do you think of the cider market in Ontario and how do you feel they co-mingle because you always see at least one cidery at a, a beer festival lately. Well, they, they complement each other. The, uh, not everyone can drink beer because of uh, gluten intolerances and yeah, some people like fruit and not wheat. Right, so ciders something are, for everybody. Ciders are a little lighter on your stomach too, I find. Um, yep, fine. <laughs> a little lighter, a little easier drinking for people who are not really into beer. Alrighty, so with both of you, what is your favorite type of cider? Dry, sweet, in between? I, I like it in between. I like it's. I like a balance between acid and, and sweet and, uh, and not too heavily carbonated, just a little bit to, to stimulate your tongue. Alrighty, and for yourself? Um, I think I like it a little bit drier, um, just it's, it's a little easier drinking that way, but I do, if I was going to go second, it would be like semi-sweet, um, nice and refreshing, zipper. Okay, and opinions on the festival and the the venue. And... Well, it's it's awesome. The first time around, it's just uh, <laughs> amazing. Usually, I'm here for the wine wine festival, 
and uh, this is a totally different younger crowd and much more into craft right much much more into craft I, I gotta agree with Hank um, I'm very familiar with this park for the wine festival but um, this is a different feel, a little bit more laid back, and um, everyone's just drinking, tasting, instead of just being here, getting drunk. <laughs> it's a really fun festival. All righty, well, thank you both for your time. Thank you. One, and more, one more thing. Okay. Um, ciders and, and food are built for each other. The, the, the food pairing available. I, I would available. argue that most things are built for food. That's, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I know, I know, you're right. <laughs> but um, I think there's a there's a large um, what piece of knowledge or knowledge body that has to get developed for uh, food and cider pairing. Just like with beer, right? Beer, beer has to. The one thing I would say is a lot of people have preconceptions of ciders as like, well, they're alcoholic apple juice. But really, they are complex, especially if you make them well, and uh, they pair very well with food if, if, if you give it a chance, so to speak. So. That's right. Well, thank you, guys. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. Dwayne it was? Dwayne Warner, yeah. Good day, guys. We're here with Dwayne from uh, Highlander Brewing Company. And first off, uh, how long have you guys been open? Um, five years. And how many beers do you guys Cur Currently we have about six. Alrighty. Uh, what is your thoughts of the beer culture in Ontario, how it's changing? I'm not sure that it is changing that much. <laughs> okay. There's, there's no doubt that craft beer has become popular, but it is still only 3% of the market. Okay. So it's not that big a change, really. Alrighty, have you tried any other beers at the festival? Oh, I know most of these beers. I know most of the other presidents of the companies and I have tried most of them. Um, and what's your favorite beer other than yours that's offered here today? Um, I'd have to think about that. <laughs> There's um, Bell City over here, has a Belgian called, called Le Moine. I, I like that very much. I do. Uh, very new company, but it's, it's a very good beer. Um, the other one here, the Grand River here, makes a very nice beer too. And of what you brought, what's your favorite beer? Oh, my favorite is the Blacksmith Smoke Porter. But we, it's we have such a hard time to keep it, get enough made. I only have the brewery only gave me one keg for this event, so I'm saving it till four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And because people here, when they know that it's here, it'll be gone in like 20 minutes. You know. And your thought of the festival itself and the I venue? Think, I think this is great. The venue is wonderful. And the, these people are so well organized. These are the same people who did the Niagara Convention Center one. Very well organized, very supportive, and their, their price is right. A lot of these other ones, they charge horrendous amounts of money. This one, they had a very modest price, and it's a beautiful organization, everything. It's wonderful. Alrighty, well thank you very much. Uh, we we actually tried your South River Pale Ale. Yeah. We we didn't mind it. It was good. The lion grass we loved. And once we're done with you, we're gonna do this, which is the uh, lager. Okay. The lion grass is the better beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We love the lion grass. Yeah, I know. But thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Good. Okay. Bye, guys. So, what have you got there now? Uh, this is the. Realistically, to the camera, say. But he does. At least, at least every other video. Have, have or some Gaviscon and shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Internet. Uh, well, maybe you should have saw it about two or three hours ago. Now remember, you have a bright light in the albino's eyes. I can't see a thing. Well done. <laughs> so you got to talk and tell me when it's ready. <laughs> Good day, guys. And here we are, the rhino, the reverend, and one of the men the from Turtle Island in Ottawa. Cheers. And we are at the... No, it, it's fine. We're at the Niagara Craft Beer Festival. First off, have you tried any other beers here tonight? Um, no, not today, but I've tried... 
a lot of stuff that's on site at other festivals this summer. So, okay, so of what's on site from the other breweries, what's your favorites here? I'm, I'm a big fan of Nickelbrook. I like their stuff for sure. Um, I'm a big fan of Nickelbrook. <laughs> uh, of what you brought, what's your favorite? Probably our Imperial Maple Stout. It's uh, 11%. It's a big beer. It's been if, if you If you were going to say the Majestic, we might have had to power bomb you since it's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Ottawa's beer culture, what, how is it changing? It's huge. Um, we actually, we started a cra two craft beer festivals three years ago in Ottawa. At that time, we had six breweries in the region. Now, by the end of this year, we'll have 24. So it's uh, it's catching on in a big way in Ottawa. Some great beer coming out of Ottawa and some great beer coming to Ottawa as well. It's, uh, it's really turning into an exciting place for craft beer lovers. And this is your second festival down in this area. What's your thought of the craft festivals down here? In St. Catharines, Niagara Falls, amazing, amazing. We've had incredible, uh, uh, Incredible results. No, you don't like them? No, I'm <laughs> uh, yeah, we've had really, really good feedback from, from the people in the region. It's, uh, it's been awesome. And from what we've noticed, you guys actually have had the longest line so far tonight. We like to take our time when we serve people, give them a little bit of information about the beer, that kind of thing. Uh, thoughts on craft beer festivals over just beer festivals? Uh, it's, it's like night and day. I mean, you can't really compare the two, I don't think. Uh, a craft beer festival really is all about, you know, the small, the artisanal, the up and coming, the new, um, the things that are exciting in the industry. And, and you know, I won't say anything about the other guys. But, uh, <laughs> what do you think of that, actually? It's awesome as hell. You see, we got the Reverend on camera for the first time in like six months. Probably actually longer. My videos have showed up more recently. It's been close to probably like a year since I've arrived. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't know how long, how well this game picked up. I don't know. But yeah, yeah this is the, the maple stout and you're saying 11%. 11%. Like, because that's one of the things, there's a lot of times where you hear 8, 9, 10, 11, 12% on a beer and there's always like the, the alcohol burn and there's, I think on a 1 to 10, like a 1. It's like, yeah, you know it's there. But it's not like, okay, okay, it's there, and then it goes away. And that's the thing that I like. You hear that higher percentage, and, then and there's not. Awesome. Oh, yes. That, that, I heard, as we were walking up, already like, you got to come see this one, blah, blah, with uh, like, Turtle Island. Yes. Turtle Island, we got to go over here. Well, actually, it, it was us that told me I had to come over here. Yeah, let's just say, like, yes, they were saying, come over here. They were over here, and they're like, maple. I'm like, I already like maple anyway, so yes, I like where this is going. And I go, Lem Bersamic. I like all those words. Surprise. These are, the these are good. <laughs> good idea. Yeah, every now and again, America gets an idea. Don't get your head, American fans. So we, we've had uh, we've had four of your beers, and there was only one that we weren't a whole big fan of, and that was the Irish Red. And it wasn't that it was bad; it was just standard. Yeah, yeah, we only had a special cask was out. It was drinkable. Very drinkable, nothing wrong with it, nothing offensive, just boring as fuck for us. Right, gotcha. But we can see that being huge for people in in bars and pubs. It's a great pubs gateway and, beer, for yes. sure. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. But yeah, so you guys actually have had all passes by us. I actually think the whole festival has been all passes. Awesome. I think this festival has been good. It was a rock to start, but as it progressed, I really enjoyed it. But yeah, if I ever make it up to Ottawa, I'd love to stop by at Turtle Island. We'd love to have you. And you know what? I might even send you an email for our festival next year in Ridgeway. That'd be awesome. I got a joke for you. A reverend, an uh, albino rhino, and a brewer walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I am a reverend albino rhino. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers, man. Thank you. And good luck with everything. Thanks so much. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, name? Sorry. Blake. Blake? Sorry. Sometimes I forget to ask things. Concussion <laughs> problems. You're on camera, Chad. All righty. Today, guys, we're here with Blake from uh, Brickworks in Toronto. And first and foremost, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves? Uh, so we're the Brickwork Cider House. Uh, we're Toronto's first craft cider. Uh, there's a lot of Ontario ciders around right now, but we're the first ones to be actually producing in the city of Toronto. We're using 100% Ontario apples. Uh, we're a nice, dry, crisp cider. Not a lot of added sugar, About coming about a third the sugar of a lot of the other ones out there. Um, 
it, this is our first season. We uh, we were founded back in November of last year, and uh, we've just been doing festivals this spring and summer. And the reception has been great. We've been uh, just launched in the LCBO two weeks ago, spreading all over, and it's uh, it's been great. Been a great season. So, are you finding a lot of acceptance in Toronto? Finding a lot of acceptance outside of Toronto? Yeah, both. I mean, uh, before we had the LCBO launch, we were just uh, able to sell the licensees, like bars in Toronto. And uh, I mean, we're in about almost 200 bars right now in the city. Uh, we've done festivals uh, within the city, and then you know, out here like Niagara, we did Burlington. Uh, Hamilton, and it's been uh, really well received everywhere. Everybody's been really enjoying it. Okay, and how are you seeing the culture of beer and cider intermingling? Because you see a lot of cideries always at a beer festival now. Yeah, of course, and you know what? It's been, uh, you know, we were kind of uh, apprehensive at first entering the, the beer festivals, uh, participating in them, thinking that, you know, people weren't around to drink cider. But I mean, especially in Ontario, the cider market's just been growing so much the last couple of years that uh, uh, we've been really well received. Um, and another another big point that uh, that works for us is the gluten-free angle. I know there's a couple uh, gluten-free beers that are around right now, but uh, there's a ton of people around right now that are either you know gluten intolerant or just off gluten, and the cider's a great option for them. So uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we get along great with the, the craft beer guys and the other the other uh, craft cideries, the Ontario cideries. It's all kind of just uh, one big family in the industry. So it's uh, it's been awesome. And have you had a chance to try anything else at the festival tonight? Yeah, actually, next door here, Brimstone is uh, is great. They're uh, out of I, I can't remember where they're Ridgeway, out of. Ridgeway, Ontario, and. Uh, <laughs> I've really enjoyed them. Um, I, of course, our other neighbor, Mill Street, is the classic. Um, and uh, Highlander over there, actually. I really enjoy them as well. So everything you've tried, what's your, been your favorite other than what you're offering? Uh, cider or beer? Either. Um, my favorite cider other than what I'm offering is the Ironwood, and my favorite beer is the Highlander. Alrighty, well thank you very much. So you can ch you can check these guys out all over Toronto and soon to be the LCBO? Uh, we're, we've launched in the LCBO all over Toronto and we've just moved west. So uh, Kitchener, Waterloo, London, St. Catharines, all within the next week. And of the three cideries here, both of us agree that you were the best all-round cider. Well, thanks so very much, man. Try it if you can get it. Bye, guys. Cheers. Well, good day, guys. We're here with Descendants Brewing Company at the Niagara Craft Beer Festival. First and foremost, have you tried anything else at the festival? Yeah, I was over at Nickelbrook and uh, Killannon Brewery. And what's your favorite of what you've tried? Uh, I really like the Colts at uh, Killannon and uh, I like the, the the Berliner Weiss over at Nickelbrook. Of what you brought, what's your favorite? Uh, I would say the, uh, the Harbinger American Pale Ale. Now, fairly new brewery. Would you like to tell us about yourselves at all? Uh, we're new. We're, uh, it's my wife and I that started the brewery. We uh, sold our first keg in February of 2014, so this year, and uh, we've been doing really well. Uh, got a lot of response, positive response from people. It's been an interesting experience. We're uh, about to start renovations on our own uh, brewing space, which uh, should be open before Christmas 2000, this, this year. Okay, and your thoughts on the beer culture in Ontario, how it's evolving, and then craft beer, uh, craft beer festivals versus normal beer festivals. Uh, my thoughts on how it's evolving is it's evolving very quickly because a few years ago we, we were looking at the idea of opening a brewery and it was, I think, you know, 15 breweries in the OCB and and, and you know now it's just it's just going crazy so it's pretty exciting it's pretty uh, great to see a lot of beer becoming available here in Ontario and uh, yeah I think it's really it's still going to evolve a lot more beyond what it's at now and uh, craft beer festivals I think it attracts a fun crowd and and it's it's interesting I like being at a craft beer festival and you see uh, somebody that comes in and doesn't realize that it's a craft beer festival and they're they're trying new beers for the first time. It's pretty cool to, to watch their face. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm Robert.